Hi, welcome to Vanita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is beet dip. I've had many requests from viewers asking what else can they do with the fresh beets. I do have a beet, uh, pickled beet recipe on Bonita's Kitchen. I got beet salad, potato salad. But today we're going to be making a beet dip and that you can have on and up to a week in your fridge. For if you get company and you want to take out some crackers and bread, I'm going to show you how to make this. So let's get started. So quickly I'll go over the ingredients that we're going to be using in this um, dip. We're going to be using two to three beets. I get a, a large beet there so I'm going to be using two. My food processor is small so I can't fit any more than that. But this recipe calls for three. Um, we're going to be using lemon. We're going to be using a tablespoonful of mayonnaise. A cup of Greek yogurt. And up to two cups if you're using three um, beets, salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic. And of course we're going to be using olive oil. Um, what we'll do first, we'll get our, our beets prepared. What we'll do is drizzle just about a tablespoonful of olive oil over the top of my beets. Then I'm going to put them in the oven and it's going to be a 350 degree heat, preheated, for up to an hour. And it's got to be fork tender or knife tender. So if you can poke your knife through it, they're baked. And this is just another way of cooking them. I know on previous videos that I've boiled them, you can do that as well. But this is a baked recipe. So I'm going to get this put in my oven and then we'll start and I'll show you what's next. So for the magic of videoing, I have two beets already baked and I got them partly peeled and I'm going to show you out to peel them. We're going to cut them up, put them in our food processor and that way we'll get started. So as you can see I got these started to peel. Now if you got gloves on hand you can wear gloves because you know beets is going to make your hands red. I cut off the tips and then all you got to do is just take the peels. When they're baked they'll just peel right off like this. So I'm going to continue peeling these then I'll show you what's next. Okay, I got my garbage bowl on the side. So pretty much that's all you got to do is just take the skin off like that, toss it to the side, put it in your compost if you've got one. Now I'm just going to cut these in chunks because I don't need to dice it up when it's in a food processor, it'll do the work. If you don't have a food processor and you've got a blender, you can do this in a blender. You know, you could just do the pulsing of it. So just after you finish peeling it and cutting it into cubes, toss it into the food processor. Okay, so I'm just going to toss in the rest of the beets. So what I'll do first is add a little bit of olive oil into these beets so they can start them blending. But I'm going to get you to judge the olive oil. I'm not going to give an amount because you're just drizzling in each time. So it could be two tablespoons, could be three, but you'll see with the texture of your dip. So what I'm going to do now is just pulse this, get these broken up, and then I'm going to start adding, adding in more ingredients. Okay, and that's good there. So we're going to put in a, a half a teaspoonful of paprika, a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. We're going to be putting in um, about, I would say, a tablespoonful of, of uh, lemon juice. We don't need the zest. And if you don't have fresh lemon, you could use lemon juice. And just squeeze it on in to the mixture. So as I'm uh, squeezing my lemon juice, it uh, squeezed right into my eye. So don't do that at home, of course. I'm going to be putting in a tablespoonful of mayonnaise. You could use Miracle Whip or the mayonnaise. I'm going to be using a cup, cup to two cups. Like I said, my food processor is only small, but this recipe for three um, beets 
calls for two cups of yo um, Greek yogurt or sour cream. I'm using Greek yogurt today, but you could judge that yourself. So I'm going to be putting that in. I'm going to put in two nice cloves of garlic. If you like it hot, you could put in more. And I'm going to let you decide on that as well. So I'm just going to cut these really quick. I'm going to be adding in the garlic and another drizzle of olive oil. Not the yogurt yet. I want to pulse this together first. Alright. So that much is done. And uh, one more step to, to uh, tell you about. If you leave maybe a tablespoonful of the chopped beet aside and then you cut that in little cubes. Of course I used all of mine in this, but that's okay. I'll show you what it looks like on the one I already got made. And uh, that'll be as a garnish in this as well. So put your yogurt in there now. The Greek yogurt, is, it's plain Greek yogurt, not flavored. And now I'm going to pulse this together. Then I'm going to be putting in the remainder drizzle olive oil so that was like three uh, swirls into the top I'm gonna put on my food processor again and then uh, this is the last blend so once this is done I'll show you what it looks like okay so this is your texture you can see it's nice and creamy and once this once this is put into the fridge and set it's going to be even more of a nice creamy texture. So I'm going to put this to the side and show you what that looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is scoop this out into my bowl. Now, if in, uh, for anyone that have made um, any kind of a recipe that um, got garlic in it, um, the longer garlic sits into your recipe, the more flavorful it is of course and it makes it even spicy so or hot so now I'm going to show you what this looks like so I'm going to scoop out all of this delicious dip and that's what it looks like there absolutely delicious so this is the one that I made last night and what I meant about cutting up some of the beet keeping some extra just to put on the top for a garnish this is what it looks like absolutely delicious and I just got an assortment of crackers some uh, apple and pumpernickel bread and I'm just going to take up a little tiny taste here now so I can have a little sample mm. the flavor of the garlic the beet all baked and nice and not salty at all mm. I can see this being a, a winner. Just gonna have a little taste of water just to wash down that delicious beet dip. Well, this is as good as it gets. If you are looking for something to make with your beets once they're in season, this is a, a dish that your old family will enjoy, plus having it on end when you got guests coming. And as you can see, it's not a lot of work um, and no fuss whatsoever. But if you don't have a food processor, definitely use a blender. I don't think you'll be able to mash this up by hand. Um, if you enjoy this recipe and you want to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And up at the top right hand corner, hit the link. It's free. It'll prompt you to what you need to do. You can also visit me on my webpage www.bonitaskitchen.com and each video that I post on there I also give a spreadsheet of pictures and how to make this uh, delicious dip. You can also visit me on my Facebook page or send me a tweet on Twitter. So thank you for joining us once again for Bonita's Kitchen and for this recipe for beet dip. From my kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. Thank you.